Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pandas here, and uh, today I'm going to be making a video that is uh, a bit different than the videos I usually create. I've been seeing a lot of these uh, AIs create video games from scratch, and they'll compare two AIs against each other. So I kind of wanted to try and make that kind of uh, content, and we're going to see how it goes. We're going to compare ChatGPT to Gemini, recreating Super Mario Bros. in HTML, JavaScript, and we're going to see how it goes. Two years ago, Mini Munch created a video, Can AI Recreate Super Mario Bros? And he made it in Unity with the help of AI. And honestly, it turned out pretty great, but it's been about two years since that video has came out. And AI has definitely advanced a long way, especially Gemini. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how Gemini goes. So I have this really elaborate prompt for um, both AIs today. Uh, I want to see how much can they actually do given browser limitations and whatnot and just i want to see how they actually develop all of the features i want them here you can pause the video and look at them if you want um but we're going to go ahead and we're going to give each ai a 15 minute timer because there is a lot of different uh things i want the ai to do uh there's probably going to be a lot of debugging so uh let's see who turns out on top so i'm going to send this one to chat gbt and i'm going to start the 15 minute timer it's already pumping out some code. I'm going to have to uh, copy and paste this right into uh, Visual Studio Code here. ChatGPT is still going. We're about uh, 35 seconds in. Oh, there we go. It's finally finished. So copy it here. Title and high score saved in local storage. I don't think that's persistent, but who knows? Maybe it somehow generates some kind of file. So we got uh, 374 lines of code. Let's see how uh, let's see how this one goes. I'm gonna launch it right now. And okay. Our game, whoa! Oh, uh, <laughs> game over. Enter name. And those. That score. High scores, look at that. Oh, and there it is. I'm guessing. Oh, it uh, looks like it is persistent. Okay, oh, wow. I. <laughs> well, we just jump on the. Uh, oh, wow. This is, um, oh, wow. These are fast. Um, oh, whoa. I actually, like, did something. What? Okay. We're gonna have <laughs> GBT, uh, Fix up the speed of this. My guess is FPS issues. I'm just gonna have it rewrite the full game code. I don't really feel like going through. And I think re having the AI rewrite the code fully is a. Uh, I think it's a really good test. All right, so we're gonna update it here. And uh, oh, so it looks like ChatGPT did the thing where it just kind of stores functions on one line here. So I can't actually know if it expanded a lot. But uh, okay, let's see. Our game and um, okay. Um, so the speed is fixed. That's good. Um, yet somehow uh, we are um, we're underground. Let's see if uh, ChatGPT can fix that before we get into real like art sprites. So it's basically just saying that um, the player's uh, pixel height is twenty eight pixels and platforms at four hundred, but the player spawns at four hundred, so it probably clips underground. But also like. I'm just gonna have it redo the entire code. Let's see if we can do it itself. All right, there we go. Now we got the uh, updated script. Let's see how it goes on this one. And this one definitely has a lot more code. Right, here we go. We're gonna refresh, and uh, we fall right through the um, right through the floor again. It's telling me to fi uh, fix these functions, but already ChatGPT can't like figure out where the player is spawning and how they're how they can possibly be. Going underground. Two hours later. I want to see how Gemini uh, does this first iteration, honestly. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be like blocky like this. I did say blocky, but I'm going to see if we can try and upgrade it to like a Mario looking game if that GPT can actually figure its stuff out here. All right, so it says fix is included. Spawn, warp tube, destination. Automatically place player above ground. Oh, okay, so maybe it just fixed the warp tube. Which I don't even think those are working to begin with, but and we're we're stuck again. Uh, this is uh this is tragic. It's saying like, oh, this has got to be it, and then it just isn't. And it keeps asking me to do the full HTML code. So, all right, we're gonna start again, and there we go. Finally, oh my goodness! All right, the only thing is we cannot jump, and there goes all three lives. So here I'm going to add uh, actual Mario sprites. All right, we'll see how it goes. We got about eight minutes left, so we're almost halfway there. The jump was missing because we 
Never apply the jump input. I don't know who we is. We? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. I... <laughs> it's a lot of null. It's still doing like a simple green block and warp pipe and all that. That's um, not exactly what I wanted, but all right, we're going to see how this one goes. Um, okay. Um, okay, that actually looks pretty good for a Mario looking sprite. The only problem, I do see that. Um, <laughs> I can zoom in. We can actually see the. Oh my god! I'm spawning instantly on the. Okay, so you can see the enemy. Like, oh my god, this is awful. Oh, the, is this the? I guess this was supposed to be the boss, huh? Just jumping on his head. Okay. Um. Oh, I win. Okay. You know what? Honestly. Five jumps, that's not bad. It just, the boss isn't moving, so. <laughs> 1,100. Um, okay, uh, that works, I guess. All right, we got five minutes left. We're going to see uh, what we can do here. Um, okay, so I kind of threw all my complaints in at once, and let's actually see. But honestly, I don't think ChatGPT is going to be able to do this in one go. So it changed the player sprite. Instead of, like, spamming null, it's just, like, blank spaces. I'm sure that works, but then the enemy sprite still full green block but that's not a block it's one pixel all right so we have to we somehow have less lines of code i don't know how that's possible but and it just changed the sprite i can still see that one pixel and i'm so i can tell that i'm going through like okay we're pre i'm on the warp block right like I'm on it i press down i warp so that's working but there is no platform and Okay, wait, somehow I made it to the boss fight already? All right, we're going to try and fix it again. Um, so we have two and a half minutes, and this is just looking just awful. We can fix all of this with a proper 16 by 16 art pixel system. Okay, all right, let's see if that actually works. So, okay, it looks like it's going back to the original um, part. Oh, my God, this flickering power-up sprite. Oh, yeah, we don't even know if power-ups work. We got about two minutes left, so hopefully we can get a, at least one more debug in here, which I'm sure we will. Okay, now we're at 262 lines of code. Let's see how it starts. Okay, uh, there's nothing on the screen. <laughs> well, we tried. Uh, maybe should, we should have just stuck with the simple block, rewrite the whole thing. Maybe we can get a second debug in here. I doubt it, honestly. Ray 16 filled null. Okay, wait, that's actually like smart. It's actually like getting smarter here. So the warp sprite and the enemy sprite look exactly the same. Uh, we got about 20 seconds left. Let's see if we can actually get it. Fresh start game. Okay, whoa, 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 I actually have something. All right. Okay. It, it warped me, but it didn't warp me into the next level. Okay, so this could be the last update for chat GPT because we're over the time limit, but I thought I would just give it this last chance to actually do something instead of the... Uh... All right, here we go. The final, the final version for chat GPT. Let's see what we got. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like the platform. Jump, warp. Okay, wait, we're actually in the next level. That's great. Um, try and warp here. Um, oh, that collision. Oh, yeah, because that's, I guess that's technically where a platform is. Uh, oh, I managed to get there. Okay. And just get on the boss head. And there we go. We win. Wow. Pandas. Hit score. There we go. 1150. High score is still there. So it is persistent. Oh, died instantly. Okay, so I have it in Gemini now, and it is going. All right, let's see how Gemini's works. Uh, we're at 635 lines of code. Let's see. Wow, super browser bros. Okay, wow. Already. Whoa, okay, this is. Whoa, what? This is 80 times better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, high scores. Look at that. Wow, and it just shows it straight up. Dashed. Down? Oh my god, it like made a whole level. Now, <laughs> oop, I am stuck here. We have some loading point errors with the code, but uh, this looks amazing. So we're going to throw in hopefully the fixed version of this. Uh, it looks like it is fixed. It is a lot slower. I don't know what these uh, the power-ups, they just kind of add... They Both Gemini and ChatGPT added power-up blocks, but it didn't really have power ups so yeah oh as soon as i touch that warp pipe we're uh i'm gonna try and jump over that see if i can jump over this okay i did jump over it 
at the end. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a flag puller. In. Oh, I think I died. Okay, so I think I am supposed to go through that. A bit unfortunate. So I guess we're going to have to uh, debug this with Gemini now. I think the player is jumping a little higher. Oh, it looks like the power-up might be invincibility. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It just gives no indication that it is invincibility. I will say, we are moving pretty slow. All right. Oh, wait. We're at this warp pipe. I don't think they understood what... <laughs> I don't think Gemini understood what I meant <laughs> by... Uh, this might be the second level. Okay, I probably just got confused. New script, we're in. Okay. And now let's refresh. Gemini has about seven minutes left, so it's pretty good. The speed is unbearable. There we go. Now we can jump over both of these. There is a warp pipe here. This should be the secret one, because in my prompt, it said do a secret. Oh, oh wow, I died. Okay, I just suck. All right, there's a whole lot of nothing on the second level, and we've made it to this warp pipe, which should be in the underwater. And, oh, wow, we jump a lot higher underwater. And we sink a lot faster. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, the power-up probably isn't invincibility. It's Big Mario, because when he gets hit, it flashes. You guys were probably yelling at me there. So am I out of the water now? Yeah, because I'm not jumping high. Okay, oh, I guess this is supposed to be Bowser. Oh, wow, he's like jumping too. Okay, wow. Oh, destroyed. You saved the browser. Wow, cinema. Absolute cinema. This was, this was insane. Gemini is actually insane. Like, so yeah, it sees here. Uh, the background color changes instantly back to normal level three, dark blue to dark green when the player exits the water section. So there was a water section, which is interesting. Gravity is restored instantly to normal. So it was trying to do gravity, but also like, is it supposed to be some kind of like water wall? Like we can't get past or something like that? Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. We have big Mario now. Oh, and I teleported above. <laughs> interesting. Uh, this is awesome. And the player is significantly faster too. Alright, now two. Yeah, but we lose our power up, so Ely, I can get it. Oh yeah, I don't think I ever tested uh oh yeah, this is the secret two pipe. Oops. This goes straight to the boss fight. This HP three, okay. Um oh I died. Um interesting. And then now we're just in the <laughs> <laughs> over the above ground section. Two, one. Okay. So I'm I'm actually kind of curious. There you go. We saved the browser. I'm curious if that's because I wasn't Big Mario. Um, I'm gonna just get there real fast, and I'm gonna probably give Gemini one last chance to like really refine. Two, one. Oh no. Okay. Maybe it's some collision glitch. All right. We're gonna give Gemini one last chance to fully make things a bit better. Okay, so I gave Gemini one last thing. The timer did go off, so let's see how it goes. I made, I told him to just make the underwater part like actually underground and not just like a water wall. Um, and we are gonna remove the HP bar because I'm not sure why we did the HP bar. Oh, wow, okay, so it starts low. That's interesting. So it looks like this is just a big wall and we're supposed to be underwater. All right, this is the final version of Super Browser Bros. Um, let's see how Gemini cooked. This was uh, honestly very impressive. Like, I'm astonished that Gemini is doing this. Like, Gemini in, by far is the best AI, um, I think, in my opinion. So, all right, we're going to refresh. All right, so now here we're in this part. I'm just going to go straight past this pipe. Which skips us straight to the boss fight. Oh. So we do have persistent uh, Big Mario throughout the levels, which that's nice. All right, now here's the next part. And we are under here. Oh, it looks like I'm able to just slightly be above um, ground. Okay, well, fortunately, wait, what? Okay, wait, that's underwater part. It didn't, like... Add 
anything extra? What? Um, there, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Um. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, so Gemini clearly got confused. Um, but it's already past the timer, so it looks like the game is now unbeatable. That means ChatGPT is the winner. Just because uh, ChatGPT um, was god awful and Gemini just blew them out of the water, I'm going to let Gemini fix level three's uh, code, and we're just going to go straight back to what it used to be. At least I hope. Let's do a speed run or something. Honestly, let's, let's, let's try it. Okay, I'm actually like natively zoomed in into the browser here. I'm just gonna give my final thoughts here. Um, I really enjoyed this, uh, just creating this uh, this video. It's uh, very interesting to see Gemini just blow ChatGPT out of the water. Uh, if you guys have any idea of video games you want me to see if I can get AI to recreate and go head to head with each other, um, just let me know. Honestly. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Um, unfortunately, um, seems like the AIs aren't good with uh, pixel art. They're just kind of like blocky. Not much we can do about it. I gave them enough time to uh, hook the level. But yeah, Gemini's approach to, uh, to this game was just insane. So yeah, now we have the uh, OG level, which that's nice that Gemini just kind of remembers. And we got the final boss. Let him jump. Oh, no, he fell. Oh, okay. We went. Okay. Collision glitch. Uh, but yeah, we saved the browser. Final score of 17. Uh, I, uh, oh, okay. I can't do spaces. Uh, oh, no, that's just the max. Okay, uh, 17, 9, 7, 4 is the final score, and that is the highest score we got here. Gemini is insane. Um, yeah, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, peace out.